Hello and welcome to day 14 of Vlogist. I'm on my way to the gym and I have to admit I haven't been there in a couple of days, but I did think it was important to take a little time off. Although I don't think I've mentioned this before, but every day I try to do a certain amount of push-ups and I'm trying to build up the amount of reps that I do. And I'm up to 40 a day now. Um, they're modified push-ups. And uh, I'm just trying to strengthen my arms and my shoulders. Uh, for dinner tonight, we found the it has to be the world's biggest organic cauliflower head I've ever seen. <laughs> um, and we're going to make some cauliflower soup and one of my favorite th one of my favorite things, which is vegetable bread. And I'll show you how to make that later. So come along for the ride. So I just did my 35 minutes on the treadmill. And one thing I really noticed, I mean, I know I look a little flushed, but usually when I do exercise, I get so red faced. like. I almost look like I have a sunburn, but I've noticed since I've been doing this diet and working out that I haven't been. I mean, I'm a little flush because I was, you know, obviously doing a workout, but I'm not like that bright red color. So I think that's a big plus. <laughs> the shower and as you can see I have no makeup on and I'm looking kind of red because I took a really hot shower and I just applied one of my favorite facial oils and I thought well maybe I would share I should share with you my three favorite facial oils because during the day I like to wear a cream because I wear it under makeup but if I'm not going anywhere I'm just hanging around at home or if I'm getting ready for bed I like to use an oil um, and I want to show you my three favorite products so the first one here is Trilogy certified organic rosehip oil this is a brand from New Zealand and they have a whole full range line. I have some of the cleansers. I have a cleansing balm that I love uh, that comes with a little washcloth and it's it's just such a, a nice routine to get into to do the cleansing balm once in a while, especially in the winter. But this is their number one product for me. I love this. This is like my fourth bottle of this. Um, it's just, just what it says. It's just rosehip oil and it's like a little burst of vitamin C for your face. So I, I put this on at night and I just dab it around my face and uh, I just my skin feels plumped up and just lovely by morning. The second one I want to show you is by a company called Bath Body and Candle Moments and it's a company out of New York and everything is handmade and everything that they do is about moments so they make candles and they make soap and they make uh, facial products too and this is the Evanescence Supreme Luxury Facial Serum. I'll show you the bottle here. And I love this. I'm going to read you the ingredients because this is a mix of a lot of different things. 
So the ingredients are grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, organic argan oil, rosehip seed oil, essential oils of lavender, chamomile, frankincense, and rose. And it just has the most lovely fragrance. I love to use this, and that's actually what I put on today. Um, I'm gonna put a little more on, actually. I'll just get a little squirt here. It's almost clear. It's like maybe a slightly yellowish color. The rosehip oil from Trilogy is very yellow when you use that. But I just kind of dab it around my eye area. And then I spread it around the rest of my face and I give myself a little facial massage. And then with whatever is left, I take it down my neck. And that, oh, the fragrance. I just love the fragrance. And if you know anything about my La Dolce Vita lifestyle, I'm all about creating moments for yourself. And this definitely, this whole brand is about creating moments. And I love to have this little moment in the evening before I go to bed to just use my evanescence and just have a little moment for myself. And it just is just so beautiful. <clears throat> the last one I want to show you is a higher end product. It's the Chanel Huile de Jasmine. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> it's a jasmine facial oil. And this is a reformulation from Chanel had a skincare line in, I don't know whether it was the late 20s or the 30s that she came out with. Um, and then they stopped doing this jasmine for a long time and they just brought it back out this year and it's so beautiful. They use the jasmine from their own lavender fields, I mean their own jasmine fields that they have in grass. <clears throat> and they, <clears throat> excuse me, they only use that jasmine in their higher end perfumes like the Parfum, like they don't even use it in the Eau de Toilettes. So if you buy Chanel Number no. 5 Parfum, you'll get this jasmine in it, but not in the Eau de Toilette because they have like a different kind for that. Um, but this is just so beautiful and the reason why I like it is just very subtle jasmine smell um, and some people think this is heavy but because I have dry skin I actually think it's kind of light um, and you can see I've had it for a while and I'm only down to here so you really don't you just use a, a drop or two and uh, so that's my third one that I like to use so um, that's it I if you have any facial oils that you use or any kind of facial serums I'm always willing to try new things so please let me know in the comments if you have any that are your favorites I'm not sponsored by any of these brands by the way they're just three products that I really like and I was just sitting here putting it on and uh, I thought I would share it with you so that is day 14 thank you for joining me and I will see you tomorrow